UMass Lowell's soon-to-be junior center iceman Scott Campbell had a terrific sophomore season. He led the team in scoring with 14 goals and 16 assists for 30 points, and that included a number of big goals. He had the last-minute extra attacker game-tying goal against Northeastern in the Hockey East semifinals, a game the Riverhawks eventually won in overtime. And in the process, Campbell grabbed the attention of the National Hockey League scouts. Scott Campbell is one of three Riverhawks invited to a National Hockey League team's development camp. Campbell got the invite to the Boston Bruins camp, Maury Edwards invited to the Columbus Blue Jackets camp, and Chris Auger invited to the Chicago Blackhawk camp. Boston Bruin general manager Peter Chiarelli says the development camp, in the Bruins case, held this past week at the Restusha rink in Wilmington, is just one of many steps in an evaluation process. you got to go in with eyes wide open, but you can't expect too much because for a lot of these kids, it's their first kind of look at, at the professional hockey, so you can see their adjustment happening very quickly and some react adversely, some don't. We've seen all these players numerous times, so this is just another point in the evaluation period, but this is more about orientation and, and getting kids used to professional hockey and seeing how they fit in with the group. Some of the players at the camp have already been drafted by the Bruins. Some have already played at the American Hockey League level. And some, like Scott Campbell, are simply invitees with no other connection to the Bruins organization. There's invites, including Scott, that you know we, we watch throughout the year and we think maybe, you know, hey, this is somebody that we might... We, we reciprocate in that he gets you a taste of professional hockey while still maintaining his amateur status. We get a look at him and... That's about it. I mean, there's no nothing beyond that, and then we'll monitor how he plays the rest of the year, the rest of his career, And but we'll, we'll know a little bit about him, and he'll know a little bit about us. And Shirelli says, for many, it is an eye-opening experience. They come into something like this, and they have tremendous determination and tremendous work ethic, but when they get here and they see that, hey, it's not enough, they can push themselves more, and that, I think that's what these guys go through. They say, wow, I'm, you know, I think I'm working hard, but I'm really... I can work harder. I bet if you talk to Scott after this is done, he's probably going to say something along those lines. The Boston Bruin general manager says the key word to keep in mind during the week is simply development. And this is why we call it a development camp, because they're going to develop their skills on the ice, but develop their their intangibles, their, their work ethic, their, their professionalism, and... Uh, um, you know, it's it, again, it's another development learning tool that we feel is very important to produce good hockey players and good people. The Bruins, like all teams, look at a variety of skills during the on-ice drills and sessions that are held daily. And in no particular order, we've got character skating, size, strength, skill. In no particular order. And now, I think what sets other organizations apart is like how they prioritize those tools, so to speak. And if you get players that em- and then you're emphasizing a certain tool or two tools, that's going to be your team. So uh, part of my job is to instruct our scouts how we prioritize those tools. It's hard to find a five-tool player. (laughs) Those players you have to draft, (laughs) draft high. And the Bruins also learn about players by watching what takes place off the ice. You see them in the workout room. You see them them fraternizing with their fellow players in social settings. You see them uh, at dinner. um, You you meet with them one-on-one. Yeah, there are a lot of things you can learn. And and that's part of the whole kind of assessment package. And you put that together and and you come up with an evaluation of a player and a person. And then you make a determination if you want to sign that that player. And Chiarelli emphasizes that for these players, it is not a make-or-break week. It is simply another step in the process. It's just another bit of information. The majority of these players know what physical condition they should be in coming in. The other half don't. So you'd hope that the next year that they do. So it's 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 just a step in the gradual process of evaluating, developing, and, and turning, turning these players into professional ice hockey players. The Bruins hold a development camp every year. But for Scott Campbell, this was a first. It was a new experience. And we had a chance to talk with the Riverhawk. So now that conversation with UMass All Hockey player, soon to be junior center iceman Scott Campbell. You tired? Yeah, it was a good workout today. Both hours, you know, first hour was you know, high intensity practice and then uh, push through some power skating drills makes you kind of feel like a little kid again, some of the things you can and can't do. Is it what you expected it would be like? Yeah, definitely. You know, I was expecting to come here, you know, have it be a challenge and, uh, you know, learn uh, learn some things about, you know, myself as a player and the areas I need to improve on. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think it's been a good start so far. Tell me what you're learning about yourself. I need to work a little bit on some edges. You know, the power skating, it was, uh, you know, it was a couple things that were... Uh, 
uh, were a lot more challenging than others. And, uh, you know, I think everybody's got uh, little things like that in their games that they can improve. And, you know, it's nice to come here, get the opportunity to uh, try and figure out the things that I need to work on. When you arrive, do you worry in the back of your mind or wonder in the back of your mind how you're going to measure up compared to others? You don't know. Uh, you know, I came in here and uh, it wasn't, I wasn't coming in here to try and uh, measure myself against others. I'm trying to come here and just compete against myself, uh, you know, physically and mentally. And, you know, I think it should be a good week for that. Did you do anything to prepare for this week or just your normal routine? Well, I did, uh, you know, a little a uh, little bit more intense training early on in the summer. And, you know, I knew I was getting the opportunity to come down here. So I wanted to be, you know, a little bit prepared. And I've been on the ice a little bit back home. So that was good. I wasn't coming in here, uh, you know, not having not skated at all. So, uh, you know, it was a good, uh, I think it was a good first day on the ice. You mentioned the high intensity practice kind of uh, drills, a little bit of scrimmaging. Was the level, the intensity, what you expected? Uh, definitely. I think everybody was competing at, uh, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, game speed. And uh, that's the best way to improve. You know, some guys, you know, it might be their first time on the ice for a little while. But overall, I thought it was uh, real intense and uh, a very good first day. Felt comfortable? Felt as though you fit right in? Yeah, I felt good out there. I mean, uh, hopefully I didn't stand out too bad. But uh, no, I, no, no. I thought I thought I, I thought it was uh, I thought it went well. Are you conscious of the fact that there are people who, at some point, may make a decision about your future in the stands and watching? You know, you can't uh, you can't worry about that kind of stuff. You know, I got to just control uh, the controllables. You know, control what I can and can't do out there, and you know, just go out and play to my best ability, and the rest will take care of itself. How does this fit into your overall summer? You know, you know, like I said, it, uh, it's definitely a little bit different than any of the other summers, but uh, I think it's uh, it's for the best. And it, like I said before, uh, it's going to help me kind of find the areas uh, of my game that I need to improve on uh, from the view of, uh, of the people at the next level. So, uh, you know, they're here to help us out, and uh, that's why I look to get the, the most out of this week. You almost think that, that when you're done, you kind of make a little list to yourself. This is what I want to work on. This is what I need to do, and so on and so forth. Yeah, there's no question. Uh, you know, I'm going to be keeping track of the little things that they mention and little things that I pick up in my game that, uh, you know, might be a little bit weaker than others. And, uh, you know, again, that's my goal, you know, throughout the summer and, again, at the start of next year and throughout the year with Lowell to kind of work on that and uh, try and tailor my game a little bit and uh, be the best that I can. As you watch other players, do you watch them, and I don't mean from a competitive standpoint, from a learning standpoint, see little things that they do? Oh yeah, I mean, you know, it's, there's a lot of, everybody out there is a good player and uh, He's going to one day play at the next level, so uh, you know you can definitely uh, be out there, act like a sponge, kind of pick up what other guys are doing, and uh, you know some of the do's and don'ts out there, and definitely just you know absorb as much as you can. So much of it's work. Is it also just purely fun? Yeah, it's both. I mean, it's uh, it's going to be a very challenging week, but uh, you know you got to come in here and have some fun. I mean, that's the biggest thing. If you're having fun, working hard, you're going to get the most out of it. How did you find out you were invited? I don't know if somebody even the Bruins office called you or how word got to you, but what did you? How did that happen? And what did you think when you heard? It? I was on the ice uh, after you know after the season was done we were playing some pickup at the Sangas and uh, coach called me over the boards and just said that uh, the Bruins had expressed interest and uh, had wanted to know if I'd be willing to attend the camp and uh, you know I was you know I was very uh, I was kind of surprised and uh, ecstatic about the opportunity and I got in touch with them and uh, you know the rest was history uh, we locked it up and you know here I am today. Terrific. Thank you for your time and uh, boy good luck with it. And Thanks Bob.